So today is day one of the reading rush. I didn't get to show my TBR, so I'm going to show it now. These are all books that I want to read. We'll see if I get to all of them. And I also want to vlog every day, so we'll see if I get to that every day. I'm really, really hoping to. So I have my Goodreads um, up because I put some of the books that I'm going to be reading. Um, so the first one is on my Kindle, and it's This Is My America, which I will post a picture here for you of the cover and this one comes out July 26th so it's not out yet but it seems like it's going to be a really good book because it is marketed as a mix between Dear Martin and Just Mercy which are two of my favorite books and I actually started this book last night and I'm really enjoying it so far and this is for the first challenge which is going to be read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone so for the second challenge, read a book that starts with the word the. I'm going to be reading The Colonized Volume 1, which I will post a picture of it here. This has been on my TBR for a really long time. I actually got it on NetGalley in 2013, I think, so it's been a long time coming. And challenge number three is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So for that one... I'm going to be reading World War Z. If you've been watching my channel for a really long time, since like 2012, I've had this book for a really long time and actually my brother had made a booktube channel back in 2013, I believe, and he has already read this and he really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really behind because this is a book that's been on my shelf that he borrowed. So um, this one, I am also going to be listening to it on audiobook. It seems like the audiobook is really good so far. I just started it on my walk this morning. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. And then um, read the first book you touch. I've touched these books because I picked them out. So I guess they all meet that challenge. And the next one is read a book completely outside of your house. I'm going to try to read just a little bit of all of these outside. When the sun goes down, I'm going to try to get some reading in outside. I don't usually read outside because bugs, but um, I'm going to try. Read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. For that one, I have two actually. So I want to finish this. I wanted to finish it before the reading rush started, but I didn't get to, and it's The Last Wish. I've been wanting to read more fantasy, and I really need to finish this, so I'm going to be including it in the reading rush. And also, I have all That Remains, a renowned forensic scientist on death, mortality, and solving crimes. I am interested in reading more about um, just forensic science, so excited to read this one. And the next one is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. For that one, um, I actually made a status on Goodreads asking like what I should read for the reading rush. And Max suggested this from Well Done Books, or that was his booktube channel, but he's not on booktube anymore. So this one is The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie, and I've read Americana and really, really loved it. So I'm going to be reading this one and I'm sure it will be good. Those are, I think, all the books I'm going to try to read. Um, this Is My America is on my Kindle too, so, and yeah. <laughs> I actually just wanna talk about this real quick. I just finished this book. Um, the Brave, which I will insert a picture here because I don't have the cover on it. Five star read, definitely recommend it. It's not part of the reading rush, but I just finished it last night and I reviewed it on Goodreads. I gave it five full stars. It is a middle grade, but it reads as like a YA and I definitely think it's for all ages, kids, adults, anybody, everybody. Definitely recommend it and its own voices, indigenous voices actually. So the author is Ojibwe, I think that's how you say it, and so are the characters. And it takes place on a reservation mostly. So definitely recommend that book. Just wanted to talk about it real quick since it's underrated right now. I think it has like 98 reviews right now. So definitely want more people to read that book. I will update you all as usual on what I eat and stuff. I haven't ate breakfast yet. So I'm about to eat breakfast and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. I dumped out this yogurt and put some granola on there and topped it off with some blueberries I got in my CSA box. And this yogurt is actually 
one of my favorites like not the best tasting like it's not amazing but i will say that it barely has any sugar in there let me show you seven grams and it includes the six grams of added sugar already and it has probiotics in there so only seven grams of sugar probably the least amount of sugar i've seen in a non-dairy yogurt because the non-dairy yogurts always have a lot of sugar i'll update you when i read my book i think i'm going to read my book after i eat so i'm watching coral uh i've been watching youtube videos whoops there's a lot of booktube videos i have to catch up with i'm here with the buddy he's sleeping but um yeah i really love her channel if you're looking for new booktubers to watch she is one of my favorites i'll definitely link her channel down below so you can check her out and she reads a lot of horror i'm gonna watch this and then i swear i'm going to read so i totally got distracted by booktube videos but i'm just eating a snack now i guess it's not really lunch because it's not that big i think i'm gonna have like a real lunch in like an hour or two but i'm having some grapes from my CSA box too, and avocados with a balsamic glaze, a balsamic glaze on top. And I think I'm going to read The Witcher while I eat and maybe try to finish The Witcher today. I don't know. I feel like I want to finish a book today to feel like I'm doing something for this reading rush. So we'll check back in when I read. So update, I started on page 150 and I read a story that was 50 pages. So I'm on page 202 now. Um, hopefully going to read this story and finish that story. And yeah, making my way slowly through this. I think I'm getting kind of hungry though. So I think I'm gonna make something. So <laughs> as expected, I got hungry again. Um, I got this brown rice wrap from Trader Joe's and I just decided to make kind of like a tortilla pizza thing and I sliced up some red peppers, some mushroom, both from my CSA box too. Um, so if you have like local farms near you, definitely look up uh, to see if they have CSA boxes. They're definitely worth it. Mine is really affordable too. And then I put some vegan cheese on there and what else? Oh, marinara sauce and that's it. I'll let you know where I am in my book when I finish eating. So I'm at the next story. I just read the last one, which was like eight or nine pages. So now I'm going to read The Edge of the World. I think it's like 30 or 40 pages. Let me look. Um, yeah, I think it's like 50 something pages. So I'll read that and then check back in. So I'm craving something sweet and I thought I would just eat this. It's a uh, chocolate mint flavor by Zing. And it is, let me show you the ingredients. It's pretty healthy. It has pea protein in it, sunflower seeds. Oop, you can't see it, but I don't know if you can see it. And I'm on page 260 of The Last Wish. So I will update you maybe when dinner's done because I just put some chicken in the oven and I'm going to be making some asparagus too. This is what the bar looks like. I thought I'd show you. It's chocolate covered on the outside and it's kind of like brownie consistency on the inside. So it's pretty good. So update, I'm on page 276. I don't have that much left, so I really think I'm going to finish this book today. This is the most reading I've ever done in a reading vlog, I swear. I always show all this food, all this cooking, and what I eat, and I never show what I'm actually reading, so I feel like I am doing well so far, so yeah. I will check back in probably when I finish the book or when dinner's ready. So this is what I made for dinner, some asparagus. I had frozen rice that I had previously made on hand that I froze, and then some uh, baked chicken. And yeah, that's my husband's lunch tomorrow. So I'm snacking on some pistachios. I probably shouldn't have ate that chocolate bar thing because it was a protein bar. And yeah, I'm not like super hungry, but I'm kind of hungry. And I'm on page 287 of The Last Wish. So I'm kind of feeling like eating pizza, so I'm reheating some frozen pizza that I froze, um, I think it was like two weeks ago or something that I never finished. 
this is the pizza i'm having and yes i put pineapples on my pizza i forgot to film that i had a smoothie too so i look crazy because the lighting is so bad but i finished the witcher the last wish well it's not called the witcher but it's called the last wish um just a bunch of short stories about the witcher it was pretty good i would give it three stars i think because i think there was one or two stories where i was just like eh. I don't know, but it was worth the read and I suggest watching the show before you read it or playing the game before you read it because then if you haven't done either, you'll be completely lost. I definitely will continue. I think Blood of Elves is the next book. Not right now, but in the future. Tonight, my plans, which I don't know if I'll film it or not, is I'm going to read This Is My America on my Kindle, which I'll put a picture here. Um, I will read that when I'm in bed, but if I'm reading before bed, I'm going to try to read World War Z. So those are my plans. Hopefully I can finish a book tomorrow. This might be the end of the vlog. And if it is, I will see you all tomorrow. Comment down below what you're reading or if you've read um, this or if you've read World War Z or if you're looking forward to This Is My America because I know a lot of people are looking forward to it because it comes out soon. So yeah.